everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new here please hit that red subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon next to it to stay up to date in today's video I'm doing a how to play guide or gameplay slash guide tips whatever you want to call it so I'll be in shooting firing range first telling you guys about the first character we'll be doing today he is one of the most easiest characters to play in the entire game one of the easiest characters to play I should say Victor 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 he's very easy he's the only character that can run like just manually just run for your life he's a hit or run character he's a damage dealer he's one of the easiest if you're new to Palatins and you need someone to play learn to play him because he is the easiest and he was my main when I first started playing Palatins also so I want to get in some gameplay some overview some cards or tricks whatever it is but before that, random fact of the day, I recently discovered Deep Sea Snail, the scaly food gastropod, has a shell that is impressively developed, so much so that the U.S. military is trying to use this design to inspire defensive layers in military armor. Hmm. That's pretty, that's pretty, pretty cool, actually. Never knew that. But, let's get into fire range for you guys. So what I got for you guys here, I already have everything loaded up into fire range. Victor so let's go over some stuff what I manually do or what I usually do in the beginning of a match so Victor I always go with life rip first because Victor is always constantly behind hit and run life still would be good that's just me and everybody else has a different opinion usually I go life rip I go cauterizing deaf hands and just for me personally I like to go with coronals just because I love to spam his L1 throwing grenades, frags. So I'll tell you what happened. This is why he's so cool. Are these guys shooting? No, I need these guys to shoot. Let me show you guys. See, you get hit. And you just run. An enemy has drawn first blood. See that how you just run? Yeah. Then you can shoot. Oh man, my aiming was terrible. Just keep shooting. Double kill. It's like playing Call of Duty. Just aim your gun. And you hold L1 to throw. It don't matter. You hold L1 until the very last end of that little load time. You can throw ahead. Cross a blast. And you can just keep on shooting. Hop. Shoot. You need to run. You just run. Now, you can hold R1 to run. Whatever works for you. Now his ulti is pretty much Moltar strike. So you pretty much just look at your target, you get one. That's what it does. Very effective when there's a lot of people. So we try it again. You go one, two, you spam it. It hurts them, it really hurts them. You just reload. Victor is easy. That's all you guys need to know. All you guys gotta do is hit. Oh man, sorry guys. All you guys gotta do is hit. And then you just run. Reload. You're healing up. And then you repeat the same process over. You wanna throw a frag in it. Do it again. Get spam. But your aim's gotta be better than my aim, okay? And that's how you play Victor, guys. So I'm gonna get to the gameplay, show you guys how to use them in different situations, and I'll give you guys the best tips that I know from me personally. So let's get to it, guys. All right, guys, we are in. All right, so we got cardio. When you start out the game and you haven't already played Victor yet, you'll probably have this cardio. Only one unlocked. These two will be locked until you level up to a certain level. Then you get this one, and then you get this one. Everybody in rank will roll this burst mode. Really effective. Prepare for battle. It increases attack damage. It shoots slow, but his attack on this is pretty <clears throat> crazy. And then if you love spamming or using the frag, his L1. This would definitely help out a lot to sharpen L. Cardio is pretty much you run away, you heal up quick. But I'm going to go with this one because I love using this grenade. Four, this is my full three, ammo tank two, heal. Two, Max my ammo out. Eight, eight, gets me into fights. You know, this is stuff I like, man. 
You can copy it if you want, but yeah. I want to get to it. I work on life rip and some cauterizing. Coming on, coming, coming, coming teammates. I got ruckus. Druxes, you got it, right? Alright, Moji's retreating. You just want to back and support the tank? Don't be afraid, alright guys? Do not be afraid to throw some frags around. Alright. Falling back. Oh, I didn't know the siege was ready out. Right behind you, Androxus. You always want to come from the flanks as a victor. Oh, I forgot Kanisha was there. If you're playing against Kanisha or Strix, watch out. They're always somewhere in the back. You want to get rid of Androxus. Take out that support. Come on, Kenisha. I see you. Better rotate to a different section. Try to confuse them. You don't all you don't always want to be predictable. Throw some frags. Try to help out the team. Throw some frags. Man, almost had him. All right, I got life rip, got cauterizing. What you want to do next is probably more life rip and then cauterizing. So these two are good for now until you, when you reach tier 2 for both of them, I suggest you work on death hands or morale boost. I'm probably going to go with death hand next then morale boost. Judging how my team is playing very good right now. You do good when your team's doing good. That's just me. When my team's doing good, I can do good. If they're doing terrible, I perform very bad. Five. All you gotta do is guys, Three, Victor is very two, easy to play, simple. One. Hit and run, hit and run. Your team needs help, throw some frags to kind of scare the enemy team off a little bit. When they're all crunched, to, uh, squ squished together, that's why you use your ulti. Now this Atlas shield is bad. It is really good, I meant. Throw some frags. Think you good sneak? Oh no. I'm not that rookie. Help out the team a little bit. Is Rum defeated? Yes. Doing good team, we're doing good, we're doing good. Just run around in a circle, just messing around. I'm just kidding, you don't have to do that. Moji could be quite irritating. Nah, I'm kind of annoying them right now. I'm going to come up these stairs quick. Time to flank. Hope Kanisha's not here. Oh, there she is. Oh, man. That was a fail. Kanisha saw me last minute. Oh man. You wanna run, try to escape the best you can. Hopefully your teammates can back you up. That's all you gotta do is run, run, run. Wow. Wanna stay steady. 
Kanish has got a target on me. I gotta be careful. Bro, you're fragging there. Victory. And that's how you do it, guys. Throw the frag. When they're kind of scattered, throw them create some damage so they can help out the team if they're all squished together just you just use your ulti which I never had to use my ulti my teammates were freaking awesome and amazing I had really talented teammates there I know this is pubs match it ain't rank I know but this is a how to play on Victor so they're with me ladies and gentlemen and yeah Victor is one of the easiest characters to play so please try him out if you're new to Palatins or you're looking for someone easy to try Go with Victor. You could copy my deck layout. You could go back to that part and just pause it. My my deck layout is all about maxing out his ammo, cool down of his frag grenade time, and just hit and run. That's all you gotta do. Hit and run, and then you just run away. You get heal up, get back into the fight. Victor is the easiest guy to play. One of the easiest guy characters to play in Paladins. So play him if you want, and you're looking for a new guy. Play him. If you guys made this far and haven't already. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit, hit that bell icon. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Can't wait to can't wait to put the next next um, hero for you guys. How play hero I meant. I don't know who, but yeah, see you guys then. Everyone stay safe. <laughs>